because that monkey bread was actually really good. Good morning from JFK. So I am flying off to San Francisco right now and I actually just got upgraded to Delta One. So business class off to San Francisco, let's get it. So as we can see behind me, it is still very dark. It is currently about 6.30 in the morning and I am in the Delta Lounge right now because that comes with business class access, Delta One. And it's a great way to start off the day. As you can see, we have this nice assorted breakfast. We got hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, French toast, chicken sausage, bagels, muffins, donuts, oatmeal. And uh, being able to have that start your day in this phenomenal Manoli nice lounge. This lounge is really, really spectacular. It is very big as you would expect because it is in JFK and uh, you can also get complimentary drinks. And one thing that I find really cool is the showers they even have here. So here on this Boeing 757, we got a nice 2-2 layout in business class. And uh, it really is a great experience. We're gonna have breakfast on this flight. We are going to have some nice drinks and my legs all right completely stretched out and we're just gonna relax have this full layout bed and enjoy the six hour flight incredible leg room we have so right here is our delta one menu start us off with a nice moist towel some warm mixed nuts starters you can get vanilla greek yogurt fruit pumpkin raisin loaf. In the main course, you can select from one of these three. I'm gonna get the Spanish omelet and review it. Also, if you're interested in some wines, we have the wine list right here on this medium haul flight. And they finish us off with a warm chocolate chip cookie. Some more beverages. We got these nice headphones for the TV screen complimentary bottle of water. When we arrived, the headphones and water bottle were right here. Some nice extra storage space. And we got some outlets back here. Going through some more amenities, we got a nice pair of slippers. We also have this really nice amenities bag that was handmade out of recycled materials in Mexico. Inside the amenities bag, toothbrush, pen, hand cream, lip balm, earplugs and this eye mask it's hard to tell from video but this quality of the bag and the eye mask is really really nice it's something that it's not one-time use i'm going to keep and use multiple times for the future and some hidden storage space we just found right above where my feet go right below the tv we got a little hidden shelf i was also able to check my coat as well so obviously this Delta One isn't going to be like if you're doing a long haul like New York to Shanghai or you're doing an Emirates, Qantas, Etihad, one of those premier airlines, but it's still been so nice so far and we haven't even taken off yet. This jumbo pillow eventually becomes bed sheets. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn it into a bed or just keep it as a big pillow because it is a day flight. This is now the fourth time I am flying business class in a full layout bed. The other times, Virgin Atlantic, New York to London, Delta, New York to Frankfurt, SAS, Scandinavian Airline, New York to Oslo, and now this will be number four, New York to San Francisco.
So we have two issues so far. First is that they didn't have the Spanish omelet. The only option they had was the monkey bread because somehow they ran out of everything else, which makes no sense because there's like literally nobody in first class in the Delta One. So how do you not have an omelet when it's right on your menu? And two, the audio does not work on my screen. So hopefully we can get that fixed. We got the caramel monkey bread some banana nut, muffin or pastry, and fruit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have been annoyed that they didn't have the Spanish omelet because that monkey bread was actually really good. It was this kind of like bread with this nice cinnamon. It had some caramel on it as well. And it just kind of tasted like, I don't even know how to describe it, almost like a cake, like a cinnamon cake, a little bit of a muffin-y taste, really good. So a little mid-flight update for you, everything so far has been going so well, I've been relaxing, I watched a documentary, and look at this view that we have right now, we just started flying over Wyoming. I believe that this is the Keystone Pipeline, you know, the very controversial pipeline that has had cases that go all the way to the Supreme Court on whether it should exist or not. Yeah, this is it, flying right over it. I think I'm one of the few people out there that genuinely enjoys flying. Like whether it's a one hour flight or a very long haul overnight flight, I just find the whole thing fascinating and I love it. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Everywhere you look, there's not a single house, not a single road in sight. No human interaction whatsoever. This is my first time over land that I've seen something like this. This is how I know I've arrived in the city. When I walk through the airport and see the merch of all of the local sports teams. So what's my review of that? It was a very nice experience. It wasn't anything like utterly amazing. It was just kind of like a large seat that reclined, but obviously I'm not complaining. To be able to fly Delta One, it's an experience that you have to kind of cherish, be very appreciative that you were able to do it. The food was very good. The monkey bread, I was pleasantly surprised with it. My TV was broken at first. They ended up fixing it very easily. Nice selection of movies, documentaries. I watched the documentary. And then the flight attendant crew was very nice as well. They provided a warm chocolate chip cookie towards the end. And overall, if I get the opportunity to again, Obviously, I'll take Delta One. I'm not gonna pay for it using actual dollars because I'm perfectly fine staying in the economy, but if I get the opportunity, whether it's a, some sort of upgrade, then I'll definitely take that. Just found it so cool how from the plane, I was able to depict Niagara Falls. I saw one of the most famous pipelines in all of America, the Rocky Mountains, which was unbelievable, absolutely blew my mind. And now I'm in San Francisco in just six hours. It was a great journey.